and welcome back. On this video, I'm going to show you how to create the famous auto-tune, share, T-Pain, hard tune vocal effect in Cubase and I'm going to show you three ways that you can do this very easily and I'm going to show you how you can also do this in real time while you sing on your microphone and you're playing the notes on your keyboard like you saw at the beginning, coming up. Let me show you the first way. I have a vocal right here. Okay, now before we do anything, you know what I want to do? I want to lay down some music very quickly. I have backbone here and uh, I have a nice sub bass. Okay, so let's create some nice music so that we can hear this in context, right? And now maybe some nice roads with vibrant. I mean, you know, let's have some nice music to play on top of. And now I'm going to show you the first way that you can do this, okay? So let me explain a little bit what is Autotune. Autotune basically was created by a company called Antares. They created the first Autotune plugin. And the original reason why you would use this plugin would be to correct vocals, okay? If something was a little bit out of tune, it would bring it to the correct note. But quite a few producers started using this effect creatively, so they used a really hard tune effect with really fast transitions so that you don't have any space between the two pitches, you know? So if you sing something in between B and A, there's nothing in between if you're in A minor, for example. So you get this really robotic hard tune effect that everybody knows by now. So let me show you how you can do this in Cubase. Way number one you can use a plugin for this. And the plugin that we have in Cubase that allows you to do this very easily is called Pitch Correct. And this is the one I'm going to show you what are the correct settings so that you can get this effect. So let's say I want to create this auto-tune effect with Pitch Correct. All you need to do is make sure that your speed is at 100, so all the way up, and tolerance is at zero. Why do we need to do this? Because speed, determines how fast the transition between notes is going to be. What tolerance does is it changes the sensitivity of the analysis, which means that if you have a very low tolerance, it won't take into account small fluctuations in pitch like vibrato or some bends. Now with tolerance, you can maybe play a little bit around and see what sounds best to you because it might have some interesting effects if you just move this slider up and down. But what is even more effective is if you change the scale source from chromatic to an actual key. So if you know the key, that's very easy. If you don't know the key, you can still try out the notes and see what works for you. In this case, I know this is in A minor. So in this case, I can go minor and A. And as you can see, I have some notes here. Now, I know already that this is not going to work because these notes, she doesn't hit those notes. Let me show you. Okay, so that's not quite right. So instead what I can do, instead of going minor A, I can go custom. And now I can say, okay, let me show you, custom. And now what I can do is I can select the notes that I want to hit. The only notes that I allow this vocal to hit. So I'm going to go like this. And 
if you hear that a note is not right, try and adding it. For example, this F, I didn't add it, but I need to add it because it wasn't right. Okay, so you can play by ear, even if you don't know about scales or music theory, you can come up with the right notes if you just listen, okay? Now, the other thing that you can do is you can change the form and preservation here. Now, if you want a very synthetic sound, you can turn this off, and this will give you an even more kind of synthetic, uh, you know, auto-tune effect. Now, another thing that you can do if you want to create this really kind of synthetic effect is play with a shift parameter here. Check it out. Okay, so that's how you can set up pitch correct to do the autotune effect. It's very, very simple. And actually what I do is I save this as a preset. You know, you can go here, save this as a preset, and then you can use it and reuse it again if you want to get this sound. The next way that you can do this is by using Vario Audio. So let me show you, let's get this vocal. I'm going to deactivate pitch correct now. And let's go to Vario Audio and activate it, okay? So we click on this, and now we have all the notes. Now, there are two things that you need to do in order to get this effect. It's very, very easy with Vario Audio. Okay, you select everything, Control A or Command A if you're on a Mac, and then you go Quantize Pitch, okay? This will bring all the pitches to the correct place. Then you just need to use the Straight and Curve slider and go all the way up. See how these become? From these nice natural pitches, you go to straight lines, okay? And then if you play it back, okay, let's do this one as well, very quickly. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. See, super simple, super easy. You don't even have to sweat. See, if you want to correct that, it's very easy. Just go here. And now all I, all I need to do is just go to the bottom here, see? My cursor becomes a scissors tool. You just click on this, and then maybe here. And this was like a E, F, E, F, E, okay? Okay, and now I can do this. And of course with Variota you can do all crazy things that you want, okay? So you can, instead of F, you can go, you know, I can go G instead. Or A. You can do whatever you want and you can of course change the format as well for all these notes separately. So you can go to the bottom left corner and then change the format, okay? And let's do something like this and you will see that we're going to get a very interesting effect now. You know, we can completely transform this vocal and it's so, so simple, so easy and so fast. Now, I'm going to show you how you can do all these things that I showed you in real time while you're singing with pitch correct, okay? Let's go here. I have a little bit of a different arrangement here. And let's say now that I want to do this auto-tune thing live while I'm singing in the microphone. And you don't need to be a singer to do this actually, which is really fun. So I'm going to have a vocal and I'm going to add pitch correct, okay? There we go. Now, here's the trick. In order to set this up, you do exactly the same thing that I showed you before. So speed 100%, tolerance zero, but here you set your scale source to MIDI note, external MIDI note. Okay, this is very important. You do this and you're done. Half of the job is done. Now the second part that you have to do is you want to create a MIDI channel, okay? 
This is one of the things that you need to have a MIDI channel instead of an instrument channel, okay? They still have uses, you know? So let's go MIDI, okay? We add a MIDI track. And this I'm going to call it Pitch Correct Control, okay? Now, you need to select the right effect, okay? In this case, I have my Vox Live channel and I have the Pitch Correct plugin. And it's this one, see? I have quite a few of them, but this is the one. So that's what I want to control. And I'm showing you something that's a little bit more intense. Most of the times you will have one option there, but here I have quite a few because I've added quite a few effects like this. And now all I need to do is record enable, enable monitor control, and now every note I play here, it's going to control my voice. So let's listen to this. So this is how it sounds without me playing on the keyboard. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to record enable my media track and there we go we're in business oh yeah whoa, whoa. You know how it goes. It's that sound. You know, if you want that sound, you can get it. So what you need to do is you need to record enable your MIDI track and then you need to activate the monitor button for your vocal channel, okay? Where you're going to record your vocal. Yeah, yeah, you can do the auto-tune effect in Cubase. Cubase, did you know that? Did you know that, baby? You can do everything you want. Even the pitch pen just works Oh yeah, oh yeah You can do some soloing with your voice Oh yeah, oh yeah Wow, 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 wow It's all in Cubase, baby Oh, wow, 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 wow It's all in Cubase, baby you can do while recording as well. Let's do it now. Okay, and now that I've done this, I can even edit the notes after the fact. Let's listen to it. So now if I want to change the notes, check it out. Okay, let's say I want to make this A. You know, and you can do whatever you want with this. You can even have multiple tracks, you can duplicate them and have harmonies. So, you know, there are quite a few ways that you can do this and I love the fact that this is all built in. I don't have to worry about loading an external editor or doing anything weird in order to get this going. This is so fast. So if you like this video, Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you for watching, for watching. I'm sure you can do it better than me, guys. 